Scrub Addicts, it's Di here and today I'm going to be showing a process video for um, the May theme on um, UK Scrap Addicts which is fussy cutting. Um, as this is also um, May the 4th which is known as Star Wars Day um, but it's also this year's uh, International Scrapbooking Day, I've sort of like um, kept the theme running in both quarters really so I'm fussy cutting out um, stars from a Cocoa Vanilla Studio um, it was actually the backing paper in the Boys Rule collection it was the backing paper for a cut file um, that was there and I've been keeping this um, this paper not quite sure what to do with it so um, when the um, theme of fussy cutting came around and also it being Star Wars Day, um, I thought this was a perfect time to use this, um, this paper. So all I'm doing is fussy, fussy cutting the stars around. I've done some individually, even though they, they, they tend to overlap a couple of these stars. So I've done a couple individually, um, but I'm also going to cut them as they are joined, um, like this. It just saves time in cutting them all individually. And also when I place them, I've, I've got an idea of how I'm going to place them. So it'll just be easier if I've got some of them joined together that I don't have to um, stick every single one of them down individually then. So whilst um, you're watching me cut, um, I don't do it for long, I, I will skip it in a minute. Um, I'll just let you know, if, if you're following UK Scrap Addicts on Facebook group, you'll know that we've got a, a weekend long um, International Scrapbook Day um, event going on which is Star Wars themed. Um, there's some brilliant challenges so if you haven't um, gone over there yet please please do join in. It started last night um, but the challenges are going on for a little bit. You, you've you got um, a little bit of time to catch up and get your um, get your scrap pages into the folders um, before the, uh, the sort of like the the prizes are given out. There are some good prizes as well. Um, there are some scrapbooking kits, there are vouchers. Um, so there's a different prize for each challenge. Um, challenges are running every two hours, I believe, um, throughout the day time slots. Um, and yeah, it's, good. it's lots of fun over there, so please come and join us. So as you can see, I'm ju I'm just um, cutting these ones out, and then I'm going to skip it until uh, so that they're all cut. Um, otherwise, it's boring just watching me have to cut all those out. So there we are, all cut out, and now I'm looking at maybe um, doing a bit of mixed media on the background, um, as I didn't want just a, a clean a clean white page for this one. So I've got my gelatos and um, water crayons out. Um, so what I do is just mix, uh, just um, scribble onto a piece of packaging, and then with just a water spritzer, I just spray a bit of water on there just to activate them, um, make them wet, and then they can, um, and then they can just be applied um, with the kissing technique onto the paper. Now I always start with a light colour first and then make, work my way darker because um, once you've got a dark colour down if you try and make anything lighter it's it's not going to go on top of a dark. So I always start with the light colours and then work into the darker colours afterwards. So I've done two blues. I'm going to add a green now because there are green in the stars that I've already cut out. And as you can see I'm, I'm just dabbing the, the packaging onto the paper. I'm, I'm not smooshing it about at all. Um, and what you can do is if, if you've got like when when you've applied 
onto there. There's sometimes some um, puddles of the colour on there where they're wet and you can sort of like gently pick them back up and, and um, use them on another piece or just spread it out just a little bit more. So I'm just going to leave that to dry completely. Um, I did sort of just dab it down with a, a paper towel just to take it, um, any sort of like loose moisture off the top of the card but I'm just going to leave that to dry while, whilst I'm um, backing the photo. Now this is such a cute photo and it's of um, my daughter's best friend's little boy so I'm sort of like honorary grandma in a way to him. Um, I can't believe he's going to be one next month but this is, or this month actually, it's now May isn't it? <laughs> um, and this was a little photo shoot they did with him when he was a couple of weeks old and he is just the most adorable little boy anyway um, but this photo I just thought went so well with the uh, the boys rule collection itself um, but for the theme that I wanted to go with um, with this page it's there so I've just used a, a navy blue and then the um, the sort of grey marble underneath. It just sort of like, uh, the, the navy blue just helps to sort of make it pop off the page a bit and ties in with the, the little band around his knitted hat. Um, and obviously the, the grey marble goes with uh, the, the hat and the blanket that's around him. So what I'm doing now is I'm placing the stars in a crescent shape. Um, a bit of a moon so I'm just sort of like messing about with placement obviously I, I, don't, I don't want too many of the same colour in one place so just trying to place those if I can that little blue one doesn't match anywhere so once I'm happy with that I'm just going to move the, the photo off and I'm going to stick these down now So using my tacky glue, it's like where to start, but I'll, I'll choose the one underneath first, because obviously once I've stuck the other one on top, I'm not going to be able to move that one. So I do the underneath shapes first, and then work my way around, just roughly placing them back where they were before. I'm now going to skip to the end of the gluing, um, just because it's gluing. <laughs> and there we are, there's the final star. All done and fitted on there. So now I'm going to um, place the photo on. That poor little blue star is not going to go anywhere, is it? So he's being put away, he's being retired. Um, he's, he's just not going to fit on there in the way I want it to. So I'm just trying to get a couple of them sort of overlapping, the bits that I haven't quite stuck down. I'm just trying to see if I can overlap. I don't like that yellow one at the top overlapping, it's too, too high. Or should I say the point comes down too low to, uh, to, to overlap on the photo itself. So I'm just thinking, oh, what can I use, uh, what can I do now to um, sort of just finish it off and, and just bring a little bit more sparkle and colour into the um, into the page. So I'm going to use uh, some sequins. Oh, those have just come out, out there. So I've got some um, black stars. Um, and what I tend to do is sort of like roughly sprinkle them around the page and where they land is in a major on a majority of the times um, is where they'll get stuck but I am a bit anal about them as well so I do just move a couple around so these ones are black stars I'm just placing now I've got some um, sort of uh, brassy coppery colour ones that I'm just sprinkling around to add just another um, another colour in there really um, which go with the sort of like the button on the hat 
and then I'm just going to add a few um, other ones in which are sort of like generally in the sort of colours of the, the stars. Um, there's blues, there's greens. I think there might be a couple of silvers in there as well. I've got my own way of sticking sequins on, which isn't the most ideal, as you will see in a minute. I have left a blooper in in this uh, in this video for for the reason. Um, but yeah, if anyone's got any tips, I'd love to hear how you, how you stick your sequins on. So I use my um, liquid glass, um, same sort of thing as as glossy accents, but this is the uh, deco art version of it um, and it is quite sort of like hard to get out of the bottle sometimes so I, I squeeze it onto a piece of packaging um, and then use a cocktail stick um, just to add a bit onto the end and lift them up and what I usually do is if, if like with the stars because they're sort of like um, the same on both sides and they're flat I I lift it up with the, the glue on and then sort of just turn them over um, to be able to just, so that the, the glue is then paper side down if they're the sort of like the sequins that are slightly curved um, then I, I do tend to sort of put the glue onto the paper and then put the things on there. I'm having trouble getting the uh, the glue out of the bottle here. So I think it's a good idea to unscrew the lid and squeeze it out. And as you will see, I get liquid glass all over my um, page. So I'm just using a palette knife to scrape off what I can out off of there. And it does actually scrape off pretty quickly, I think, because I called it just in time. There was a little smidge on the photo, but it hasn't actually marked the photo, so I'm I'm safe. I'm okay um, with that. I've just got to pull a couple of the sequins back out now. But that was a lucky save. That could have uh, gone horribly wrong. So... Now I'll just go back to sticking them under and again I'm just going to whiz through to sticking the last one down um, just because. And there we are, that's the, um, that's the embellishments done on the page and now I'm just going to do this, uh, the title with some cute little foam letters that I've got left over from a kit. I can't remember which one it was now. And I'm using um, the Thicker's um, Letters Guide. This is obviously the, uh, the sort of crescent shaped one, the curved one, because um, I want to place the, the letters around the actual curve of the, the sort of like the crescent shape that I've made. And as you saw at the beginning, um, or from the title of the video, my title is Sleep Amongst the Stars. Which again is um, carrying on with the Star Wars theme. Obviously the stars on the, on the, uh, on the page as well. Sorry, that that bit is off off screen. I I didn't realise that the camera was um was a bit lower than that on the uh, thing. So I'm I'm just moving a couple of those letters because they didn't quite come off of the guide properly. So I'm just making sure that they're in place properly. That G's a bit awkward, um, but you'll be able to see it fully in a minute. So I'm just going to finish off this um this title now. And I, the the placement of these, this one down here, I don't quite get right the first or the second time. Um, but I actually finished the video after I've moved it the second time, um, which you'll see. But then at the end, 
um, I've put a still of the um, the finished photo where I've moved the letters once again just so that they fit properly and, and, and they look more in place with the um, the words above. So as I mentioned before, we've got um, a weekend full of crafting and fun going on at the minute. Plus we've got the May theme of fussy cutting. So there's lots to keep you busy this month in the UK Scrap Addicts group. So um, please do join us and please do share what you make. This is me out for now and I will see you again next month.